So I'm not using a router as a DHCP, rather I have uh, configured an actual server or I have taken a physical server for the DHCP purpose. Now I'm just going to open the console here. I'm taking access of my DHCP server. So the first time when you access the server, this is what it looks like. So here we have a physical representation. And the first thing that you do is you go to the desktop and you configure an IP address to the DHCP server. Now you can configure any range here. Just you have to keep in mind like it should be able to, uh, it should be reachable from the router that we have. So I'm here configuring the IP address of 192.168.10.100 and the submit mask is automatically being resolved. And here also I'm providing the gateway of my uh, network. Okay, this is the IP address of my router. Once you're done with configuring the IP address on your DHCP, you can move on towards the services and you can select the DHCP. As you can see here, we have the DHCP service and by default, this DHCP service is currently off. So let's say, let's try to create some pools here. So I will be creating a pool that I would like to create a pool for my network one. So here I have like the network one, the default gateway that I would like to use is 192.168.10.1. And right now I don't have a DNS. So let me just put up a dummy DNS, something like 8.8.8. .8 and the starting IP address that I wish to start from the IP address of two. So I will be using the IP address two here. So I would like to distribute the IP address from 192.168.2 and the subnet mask is as usual. And let's say, let me change the number of devices into something like 50 or something. And that's all I have to do. And I can click on this save.